Uh, I'm running because I really believe I can make a difference uh, here in Massachusetts. Uh, I love this, this commonwealth. I've lived here my entire life. My family's been here for over 100 years. Um, and I uh, believe that uh, we all have an obligation to our community uh, and to our hometowns and to the places in which we live uh, to help make it a better place. You know, I've learned from the best in the business, from, from uh, Mayor Menino, Ted Kennedy, and Barack Obama, uh, about the value of hard work and commitment to the job of public service. Um, and it really is an obligation and a responsibility that all of us bear uh, and to take the skills that we have in whatever setting uh, we can to help make our community, or our commonwealth, or our country a better place. And uh, I believe that my skills uh, um, would be best suited in the job of lieutenant governor here in Massachusetts. And uh, so I, I, I want to uh, take that uh, challenge on and, and really take the lessons I learned from three of the best in the business um, uh, to work each and every day for the people of Massachusetts. You know, a lot of folks will tell you that we're not in tough economic times, but they, they aren't um, getting around the Commonwealth as much as uh, as they should. You know, uh, sure we're doing better than um, than we have been, and certainly the rest of the country is certain on on the rise. Um, but what you're not seeing is significant capital investment. You're not seeing a lot of economic growth with these companies. You know, sure we're not having major um, employers move out of the Commonwealth, but they're not expanding their businesses here either. Uh, and they're not doing it because it's difficult to grow a business in Massachusetts at times. You know, there's uncertainty uh, with regulation. There's uncertainty on tax policy, certainly right now. Um, and businesses, large and small, uh, find it difficult to get well-trained um, employees with the right skills necessary to work in, in those businesses. And the housing market is, um, is in such a state that it's really difficult to, to get the right workforce in place. And so uh, I think what needs to happen in the short term is we have to come up with um, consistent, um, strong uh, policies from a, from a fiscal management perspective here in Massachusetts. And I think uh, we need to go do a top-down and bottom-up review of every aspect of, of, of government here in Massachusetts. You know, there are small businesses right now who are burdened each and every day uh, with paperwork from, you know, several different agencies on a local level, county level, statewide level, um, just to get their business running. Uh, and some are opting uh, to close their doors rather than to uh, continue to deal with the overly burdensome regulation, which I know a lot of my Democratic colleagues will tell you is a very Republican talking point. Um, but I think it's an American um, uh, dream to have your own small business and, and to open uh, a shop in your town and to help breed some economic uh, life into your community. And anything the government's doing to inadvertently, I believe, step in the way of that, uh, we need to step up and try to fix that. First of all, lead by example. You know, I was I was lucky in my uh, whole career um, to have uh, amazing mentors, uh, Senator Kennedy and Mayor Menino, uh, early in my career, and then the president now. Um, really, uh, are shining stars and examples of what public service is about. We also need to show them that we're not scared out of the business, uh, and that we're committed to helping make our country a better place. Um, but that's with elected officials, but also starts at home. You know, I was lucky enough. I had two great parents, I still do, thank God. Um, uh, one, my dad was a lineman for Mass Electric. 31 years he climbed utility poles with a leather strap and spikes on his shoes. Um, and he did it because it was, it was hard work, but he did it because that's what he had to do to provide for, for me and my brother and sister. Uh, and my mother is still the school secretary at our public elementary school and is taking care of thousands of kids uh, over the course of her 40 year career there. But both of them, after those long, hard days, were coaching um, soccer, den mothering scouts, uh, refing basketball, teaching CCD, just getting involved and engaged in their community. And we can serve our community in any number of ways. And we can show those who choose to divide our country with polarizing politics um, that we all um, can work together to help make our community a better place uh, in many, many different ways. And then we can hopefully lead by example and show the rest of the country um, uh, how we can get back on track. You know, there are common goals that I think both parties agree on, uh, but they get shut out by a lot of um, the white noise and, and garbage that goes on in Washington. And if we uh, lead by example in our homes and in our communities and uh, in our own lives, then I think we can help um, uh, really get people focused on what the priorities are and what's really actually important.